Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven in my JavaScript series and in this tutorial I just want to talk to you guys about strings and more specifically how to work with strings in JavaScript. Now if you guys watched my data types tutorial then you already know that a string is a collection of text that we can store as a variable or even print out on the screen and you already know that we have to surround our string in quotation marks so let me go ahead and print out a string example here and if I wanted to print my name out as a variable then I could go ahead and say var name equals and I could create my string here which is my name okay so I've started off my string with my quotation mark and I ended it off over here with my ending quotation mark and everything inside of here was my string value which I've explained to you guys before but you guys know that surrounding our string with quotation marks does present a problem because what happens if we wanted to actually use quotation marks as part of our string then what happens is we actually accidentally break out of our string so let me go ahead and make an example of that real quick and I'm just gonna make a variable called subscriber underscore message and this can be a message from me to all of you guys and uh, I can say Quinton said thanks to all my subscribers and I'm spelling everything wrong I now have over 1000 so thank you guys for all of you who subscribed I now have over 1000 of you but let's get back to this topic over here and as you can see I accidentally broke out of my string with this quotation mark over here and now if I try to run this I'm gonna get an error because JavaScript and my computer doesn't know what the heck all of this text is over here so it's kind of gone okay you have started the string you've ended it and you've given me a whole bunch of rubbish and then you've started a string and ended it again so what the heck is your problem okay so JavaScript doesn't understand that this is actually a saying and that it all needs to be surrounded in quotation marks so what we have to do is we have to tell JavaScript okay JavaScript ignore this quotation mark and ignore this quotation mark and the way we do that is we use something called an escape character so let me go ahead and just comment this out over here so the escape character in JavaScript is this little slash over there okay and as you can see now that I've put that there the rest of our text has turned gray but we still need to escape that quotation mark over there and now what we've done is we've started our string here and ended it here and we've told JavaScript to ignore these two, two quotation marks those are just part of our string and they also need to be printed out on the screen so now what we can do is we can go ahead and print this out on the screen using document.write and I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy and we'll put that inside of document.write brackets go ahead and save this and we can run this in Firefox and now you can see we have Quinton said thanks to all of my subscribers I now have over 1000 and my quotation marks are included as part of my saying so JavaScript didn't ignore them completely it just stopped them from having any programming purpose okay so that's pretty cool and uh, you guys actually already knew all of that but now what I want to talk to you guys about is something called string concatenation so I just want to go ahead and delete that line and now we can talk about string concatenation and 
this is a really big word but don't be intimidated it actually has a really simple meaning okay concatenation is just the term that we use in programming for saying we're joining two strings or joining two sentences so for example let's say I had a variable called sentence one and I could set this equal to my name is Quinton and that off with a semicolon and I can have another variable and I'm just gonna call this one sentence 2 and I can set this equal to and I am 21 years old and I end this off with a semicolon now what I can do is I can actually use concatenation to add these two sentences together when I print them out so let's go ahead and document dot write and inside here we can uh, add these two sentences together so to do that I can just type in the name of my first variable which is sentence one and then I can put a space and add in the plus sign and then type in the name of my second variable which is sentence two okay so we now have sentence one and sentence two with the little plus sign in between and what this does in uh, if we're working with strings is it concatenates the two sentences together so if we go ahead and click save and we run this in Firefox you can see we now have uh, the two sentences joined together my name is Quinton and and then and I am 21 years old so you can see JavaScript forgot that there actually has to be a space there it doesn't know that the only way to fix this is if I go back to notepad plus plus and I just add in a space at the beginning of my second sentence and if we save this and now run this in Firefox you can see we now have our space uh, filled in in the sentence so that's how we can add two sentences together and uh, there's actually another way we can do this we don't only have to add them together here in the document.write statement I could actually have a third variable called um, combined sentences and I could set this equal to sentence one plus uh, sentence 2 and then I could actually just print out that whole variable there so you go ahead and print that out save go back to Firefox refresh and we actually get the exact same output so my screen isn't going to change but that's pretty cool how we can add two sentences together and that is called concatenation or string concatenation but we don't only have to have two strings that we can add together we can also add a string and a number together so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick and uh, what I want to do is just get rid of this and let me just create some space here for myself and now let's do uh, string concatenation with numbers okay so let's say for example I had a program or a website that asked users how old they were I could then store their age in a variable called age and print out the words hello you are whatever their age is and then say years old so let's go ahead and make an example of that real quick and let's say the user came to my website and then they just happened to be 12 years old I could say variable age is equal to 12 so now we've got the user's age and I can print this out on the page with document dot write and now I can actually just use a string inside of my document dot write function 
so I can say hello you are and I'll leave a space over here add in my plus symbol or my concatenation sign and then I can type in the word age because that's our variable so we can use it over here and then go ahead and concatenate another bit of string on the end and say years old and I also included a space over here just so our sentence makes sense so let's go ahead and click refresh and now you can see we get the text hello you are 12 years old and that's cool and uh, if we go ahead and change this number over here like uh, we could say 54 then we could go ahead and print this out on the screen again go ahead and click refresh and you can see we've got hello you are 54 years old so as you can see not only can we combine two sentences together with concatenation or two string variables but we can also join a sentence with a number and add another sentence on the end using concatenation as well so that is actually really cool so the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is using HTML elements inside of our string. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just comment this out here. Elements inside our string. Okay, and this is actually possible. So let's say I wanted to print out the words hello world. Let me just go ahead and delete this quick and let's say I wanted to print out the words hello world on my screen well you already know how to do that I could just type in the document dot write property and I could uh, just print out the words hello world Oops. hello world go ahead and save this and when I run this in Firefox we now have the words hello world printed out but what if I actually wanted this to be a header well I could actually use the HTML heading one tag which is h1 and I could just end it off here after my string ending h1 and JavaScript will actually treat these as the actual HTML tag so when I go ahead and I save this and I click refresh you can see we actually have a heading one printed out on the screen so these are all really cool things you can do with text and that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial so I will see you guys next time